Hello guys, welcome to Stack and Traders. Think beyond limits. In this video, I will show you how to reset admin password of Xerox color machine with a firmware. If you having this problem with admin login, watch this video till the end to find the solution. Let's start. After you turn on the machine, touch on guest button to login. So default password of this Xerox is admin username and password double one double one. So let's see that if it works. Admin username next double one double one password. Press enter and as you can see this doesn't work. So as you can see this password didn't work so we can retry with a different password let's retry same username next and enter the password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 enter and login field So now we try the password on WebScope page. So let's go on the laptop. And uh, if you don't know how to open this page, you can watch my other videos with networking. So same password, admin username and double one double one password. We can try here if it works or not. So press login as you can see login field or invalid data enter so click ok we can try again username admin and the default password of Xerox double one double one click on login as you can see the password didn't work you can change the password by resetting the machine or hard reset you have to upgrade the software so as you can see I'm using a USB to copy the firmware in my laptop USB is empty and I'm copying the output file sorry output folder to my empty USB in this output folder I have a software of a 75 series color machine and other DLM files to force the upgrade okay let's start copy this whole folder into a USB so right click copy and paste on the USB you can download this firmware, link in the description, follow the link to download the software. When copying is complete, unplug the USB and plug it on the front panel of Xerox. Plug it and you can see the USB drive. So now we turn off the machine and then turn it on. So machine will automatically select the software now turn on the machine back and machine will automatically select the firmware file to upgrade the firmware as you can see 
the software upgrade is start so wait until all the files are complete machine will take 30 to 40 minutes to upgrade the software so you have to wait and watch this video till the end to see all the process I don't have the finisher connected with this machine so the finishing bar will not continue if you want to know how to use your machine without finisher watch my other video to learn how to disconnect the finisher and still use the machine when the software is complete you can see this window remove the USB and press the zero button to continue the setup the machine will turn off and turn on several times to complete the software Then machine will show this screen, data inscription and description. You can see the today's date of January. So it will take uh, 10 to 15 minutes to complete. Then machine will restart again. The upgrade procedure is complete now. You can see the panel. Touch the guest button. Enter the username admin ad min next and enter the password 1111. Enter and you can see we can log in as an admin now. In the tools, we can see all the settings. Now we go on the web page to check the default username and password. Type admin password 1111. Click on login. Press enter. As you can see, we can log in as an admin. You can change all the settings from here. This process will also apply on uh, Xerox 58 series and 59 series okay thank you guys if you want any kind of information about Xerox please let me know in the comments thanks for watching like and subscribe my channel